da 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 Yes, ukulele acquisition syndrome has struck again. And if you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely love uh, outdoor ukulele. And this is their newest product, and I couldn't resist. And so let's let's get right into it. I don't want a 20 minute video. Let's have a, a four or five minute video. Um, one of the reasons that I got this is because it's one of their new products. It's carbon fiber. And to be able to have a little banjo, to be able to take anywhere in any environment is what I wanted, especially in the South, because like today, it was 60 degrees in the morning, got my hair did, and then I left there and went uh, to, to a couple of stores, and by the time I left, it was snowing. That's the kind of weather we have here. So I wanted to be able to take something anywhere and not have to worry about it. Uh, so there's a bunch of things, the way this thing's designed, uh, with that in mind, being outside. It's actually made specifically for you to take it outside on your back and go have fun anywhere you want to go. And you just can't beat that. Uh, so I'm going to do a full review of the instrument real quick. I'm also going to say the box itself, if they put that much detail into this box, think how much detail went into this instrument. And real quickly, I'm just going to hold it up for you so you can see it. Um, look at this. Actually, that's a terrible way to do that. Hang on just a second. I'm going to take a 20 seconds and show you this here. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Look at this. Look at the detail in this box. Look at this. I mean, it is so amazing and awesome. I mean, it's a cool box. It's artwork. I mean, it's amazing. Anyway, all right. So, yes, I love outdoor ukulele. Let's get down to brass tacks. What about this instrument? Okay, I don't really, I didn't know what my expectations were when I when I ordered the instrument because I'd only seen a few little videos. And I, I gotta be honest with you, it, this has far exceeded any expectation that I had. Uh, the way it's made, it's construction, uh, the material it's made out of, the, the resonation, uh, listen to this. It is freaking loud, and it is out there, and it is a proud ukulele. <laughs> Isn't that something? Now, one of the things in this design that they did is, is they're trying to consider everything being outside, and you can see some of it in the back here. But I've never seen a bridge like this. This is genius. Look at this. You see it? Look at this. So the strings, they tie in a knot like a lot of ukuleles, and they go across... And they go underneath here, the strings go under here, and then over and through the bridge. Now, why did they do this? They did this so that when you're out carrying this through the woods and you bump it, the bridge doesn't get lost. It's actually got the strings passing through it, means it's not, and it's not attached on here. Uh, it's, it's, it slides. Uh, but they did this so you wouldn't lose it if you bump it. I mean, that's genius. I mean, it's just fantastic. And it's got a Remo head. It's a Mylar head. It's a standard Remo size 11 inch, I think, um, which it's, you can buy it anywhere. So if something happens to it, you can just replace it. So the actual, this is all my own deductions here. Uh, the actual uh, rim of the banjo, the body of the banjo is two pieces. Um, you got this outside and then on the back, look at that. Look at the bracing. Ain't that cool? Because it's, I mean, it's so light, they have to have bracing because of the tension on the head. So there's cool honeycomb inside of it. And this is a second piece that the, the head probably slips over and then you slide the whole thing up into the body and then you put these retaining uh, tension screws on here and you tighten it up. So I mean, if you had to replace the head, you could. Uh, the neck looks like it's a two piece neck and it looks exactly like their tenor, tenor outdoor ukulele. It also even has the, his name, I mean, the, the name of the company on the back. Check that out. Ain't that cool? That is like so cool. But what does it sound like? That's probably the big question. just kind of getting used to playing it so hang on just a second 
This land is your land, land is my land, California, to New York Island, the Redwood Forest, to the Gulf Stream waters, this land is made for you and me. Outdoor ukulele, outdoor banjolele. <laughs> uh, Outdoorukulele.com, this thing is fantastic. One more look, one more look, get a good look. Because this video is going long and there's going to be a lot of people mad at me because it's a long video. Ain't that cool? Y'all have a wonderful night. I'm fixing to go have some fun. Take care now.